The old highway snaked through the mountains, swallowed by an impenetrable fog. The road, once a bustling route for travellers, now seemed like a forgotten relic of the past, shrouded in an eerie silence that only the thick fog could bring. The mountains loomed like silent sentinels, their peaks hidden from view, adding to the sense of isolation. The air hung heavy and damp, chilling to the bone. Each breath felt like inhaling a cold, wet blanket and the moisture clung to their skin, making the journey even more uncomfortable. The fog was so dense that it seemed to seep into the car, wrapping around them like a ghostly shroud. Visibility was reduced to mere feet, the silence broken only by the rhythmic swoosh of the car tires on the wet asphalt. The road ahead was a shadowy ribbon, barely discernible through the swirling mist. The headlights struggled to pierce the fog, casting an eerie glow that made the surroundings even more surreal. Inside, Sarah shivered, pulling her jacket tighter around herself. The cold seemed to penetrate the car's interior, making her feel as if she were outside in the fog. Her mind raced with thoughts of what might be lurking in the darkness, unseen and unknown. Are you sure this is the right way, Tom? She asked, her voice tight with unease. The uncertainty in her voice mirrored the uncertainty of the road ahead. She glanced at the GPS, but the screen was a blur of static, offering no reassurance. Tom, his eyes glued to the road, forced a reassuring smile. He wanted to ease her fears, but he couldn't deny the knot of anxiety tightening in his own stomach. The fog seemed to play tricks on his mind, making every shadow and movement appear sinister. Relax, Sarah. It's a shortcut. We'll be home soon. His words were meant to comfort, but they sounded hollow, even to his own ears. The shortcut had seemed like a good idea at first, a way to save time, but now it felt like a mistake. But even he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that had settled over them the moment they entered the fog. It was as if the fog had a life of its own, a malevolent presence that watched and waited. The oppressive atmosphere weighed heavily on them, making every minute feel like an eternity. The darkness felt different here, heavier, as if the fog itself held its breath concealing something unseen. The road seemed to stretch endlessly, a never-ending path through a world of shadows. Every turn brought a new wave of apprehension, as if they were venturing deeper into an unknown realm. The headlights cut through the swirling mist, revealing nothing but the ghostly outline of the road ahead. The fog seemed to swallow the light, creating an otherworldly glow that made the familiar seem strange and the strange seem familiar. It was a disorienting experience, like being caught in a dream from which they couldn't wake. Every rustle of leaves, every creak of the car sent shivers down their spines. The sounds were amplified by the silence, each one a reminder of their isolation. The fog seemed to magnify their fears, turning the mundane into the menacing. The silence was broken only by the gentle hum of the engine, a lonely beacon in the oppressive darkness. The car felt like a fragile bubble of light and warmth in a sea of cold and shadow. The journey seemed endless, each mile stretching out before them like a test of endurance. They were alone, utterly alone, on a road that felt forgotten by time itself. The sense of isolation was profound, as if they had been transported to another world, one where time stood still and the fog reigned supreme. The road ahead was a mystery, and the only certainty was the need to keep moving forward, no matter what lay ahead. Sarah pulled out her phone, her fingers trembling slightly as she navigated through the apps. The screen's pale light, a stark contrast to the car's gloomy interior, casting eerie shadows on her face. Remember that chain message about Teresa Fidalgo, the one Emily sent, she asked, her voice barely above a whisper, as if afraid the darkness might hear her. Tom frowned, his knuckles white on the steering wheel, the tension in the car palpable. The ghost hitchhiker, why bring that up now? His voice was steady, but there was an undercurrent of unease. Sarah scrolled through her phone, her brow furrowed, eyes darting back and forth as she read the ominous message. It said she appears on foggy roads asking for a ride and... And she warns about a terrible accident. Her voice wavered, the words hanging heavy in the air. 
Tom snorted, his grip on the steering wheel relaxing slightly, though his eyes remained fixed on the road ahead. Urban legends, Sarah, just stories to scare people, but his words lacked conviction. The darkness outside seemed to press in, amplifying their every fear. The fog was thick, almost suffocating, as if it had a life of its own. Sarah continued reading, her voice hushed, almost reverent. The words seemed to echo in the confined space of the car. It says, if you don't share her story, you'll be met with a tragic end. She looked up, her eyes wide with apprehension. The fog outside seemed to swirl closer, as if listening, waiting, a silent witness to their conversation. Tom shook his head, trying to dispel the growing unease. It's nonsense, Sarah, just a silly story, but deep down, a seed of doubt had been planted. The fog, the isolation, the eerie silence, it all felt like the setting of a nightmare. The road ahead was barely visible, the fog wrapping around the car like a shroud. Every shadow seemed to move, every sound amplified in the oppressive silence. Sarah's mind raced, recalling every detail of the chain message. What if it was true? What if they were tempting fate by ignoring it? A notification popped up on Sarah's phone, making her jump. It was another message from Emily, urging her to share the story. Her heart pounded in her chest, the fear almost tangible. Tom glanced at Sarah, his own fear mirrored in her eyes. He wanted to comfort her, to tell her it was all just a joke, but the words wouldn't come. The fog seemed to press in closer, the car feeling more like a coffin with each passing second. With shaky hands, Sarah began typing a reply to Emily, her mind a whirlwind of thoughts. Should she share the story? Was it worth the risk? The weight of the decision bore down on her, the fear of the unknown gnawing at her resolve. Tom's face was tense, his eyes darting between the road and Sarah. He could feel the fear radiating off her and it was starting to get to him too. The fog outside was relentless, a constant reminder of the story they were trying to dismiss. Finally, Sarah hit send, her breath catching in her throat. She had shared the story, hoping it would lift the weight off her shoulders, but the fear remained, a lingering presence in the car. The road stretched on, the fog never relenting. The silence was deafening, each second feeling like an eternity. They drove on, the story of Teresa Fidalgo, now a shadow hanging over them, a whisper in the fog. Suddenly, two piercing points of light cut through the fog ahead, headlights. They were approaching a figure standing on the side of the road, its back to them. As they drew closer, the figure turned and Sarah gasped. It was a young woman, her long dark hair plastered to her face by the rain. She wore a white dress, soaked through, clinging to her slender frame. But it was her eyes that truly chilled them, wide, pleading, reflecting the faint glow of the headlights like two pools of liquid darkness. They held an ancient sorrow, a depth of pain that belied her youthful appearance. For a fleeting moment their eyes met, and Sarah felt a shiver run down her spine. Tom, stop the car, Sarah whispered, her voice barely audible. Tom hesitated, his gaze flickering between the figure and the road ahead. Sarah, it's late. We should keep going. But Sarah was already reaching for the door handle. We can't just leave her out here, in this weather, she insisted, her voice trembling with a mix of fear and compassion. What if she needs help? The young woman slid into the back seat, bringing with her the chill of the fog. The night was thick with mist, wrapping the car in an eerie shroud. The fog seemed to cling to her, as if reluctant to let her go. Water dripped from her hair and clothes, pooling on the leather. Each drop seemed to echo in the confined space, a reminder of the storm raging outside. The dampness spread, creating dark patches on the seat, a silent testament to her ordeal. She didn't speak, just sat there, her head bowed, her hands clasped tightly in her lap. Her silence was heavy, almost tangible, as if... She carried the weight of the world on her shoulders. The air inside the car grew thick with unspoken words and unasked questions. In the dim light of the car, her skin appeared unnaturally pale, almost translucent. The shadows played tricks, making her look ghostly, otherworldly. Her eyes, hidden beneath wet strands of hair, seemed to hold secrets too dark to reveal. Are you all right? Sarah asked gently, turning in her seat to face the woman. Her voice was soft, filled with concern and curiosity. She wanted to reach out, to offer comfort, but something held her back. Where are you headed on a night like this? Sarah's question hung in the air, unanswered. The woman's silence was unsettling, a stark contrast to the storm outside. The rain pounded on the roof, a relentless reminder of the chaos beyond the car's fragile sanctuary. 
The woman slowly lifted her head, her eyes dark and fathomless meeting Sarah's. There was a depth to them, a story untold, a plea unspoken. Her gaze was intense, almost piercing, as if she could see into Sarah's very soul when she spoke. Her voice was a hushed whisper, roughened as if by years of disuse. It was a voice that carried the weight of sorrow, of loss, of things left unsaid. Each word seemed to struggle to break free, to be heard. I'm Teresa, she murmured, her voice barely audible above the hum of the engine. The name seemed to hang in the air, a fragile thread connecting her to the world. It was a name that carried history, a past that she could not escape, and I need your help. Her plea was simple, yet it carried a desperation that was hard to ignore. It was a cry for help, a call to action, a request that could not be denied. Tom glanced at her in the rearview mirror, his brow furrowed with concern. He had been silent, listening, watching, trying to piece together the puzzle that was Teresa. His concern was evident, his protective instincts kicking in. Teresa, what are you doing out here all alone? It's not safe. His voice was firm, yet gentle, a mix of authority and compassion. He wanted to understand, to help, but he needed answers. Teresa's gaze remained fixed on Sarah. There was a connection there, something unspoken, a bond that was forming in the silence. Her eyes were pleading, begging for understanding, for help. I need to get to the crossroads, she whispered, her voice trembling slightly. The words were filled with urgency, with a sense of impending doom. The crossroads were more than just a destination, they were a point of no return. There's something I need to do. Her determination was clear, her resolve unshakable. Whatever it was, it was important, vital, something that could not be delayed, something I need to prevent. Her voice was filled with urgency, with a sense of mission. It was clear that she was driven by something powerful, something that could not be ignored. Her words hung in the air, heavy with unspoken meaning. The silence that followed was thick, almost suffocating, filled with the weight of her words. The car seemed to hold its breath, waiting, anticipating what would come next.